Whether you are completing a home improvement or an automotive project, power tools are always helpful to carry out any task effortlessly and efficiently. Among the existing power tools, the drill is the most convenient one for completing both personal and professional projects. A recent study states that a total number of 5,800 people were injured due to using power drills recklessly. So, whether you are a beginner or a professional, the importance of safely using drills is beyond description. With that in mind, in today's video, we are going to discuss how you can safely use your drill machine and prevent yourself from unwanted injuries. So, without any delay, let's jump right into it. No matter which task you are carrying out, an early precaution will drastically reduce your chances of getting injured. So let's start with the safety precautions that you need to take. Baggy or loose clothing and additional dangling jewelry are prone to get caught in the drill. So it's wise to tuck in loose clothing and keep the dangling jewelry in your bag before starting the work. If you have long hair, especially the female workers, you need to tighten your hair so that it doesn't block your eyes or don't get caught on the drill. Furthermore, you should always wear safety goggles to prevent flying debris and dust while drilling. They may come straight or even from the side, which can lead to severe injury and even lead to complete blindness. Now, some of you may use the drill once or twice for completing a small task or project. Hence, you may not care about ear protection as it doesn't hurt much, but things are not the same when you use them on a daily basis. Drills tend to make huge noises up to 90 decibels and some high power drills can make louder noise. And this loud noise will hurt your eardrums and can eventually lead to a permanent hearing problem. So it's vital to ensure ear protection by getting good quality soundproof headphones. When you are working with bricks or concrete materials, they expose a high amount of crystalline silica dust, which causes a respiratory disease named silicosis. Many workers wear dust masks to prevent damage to their noses and mouths. But if you consider the long-term outcomes, a respirator is by far a better option. In order to get a good drilling experience, it's crucial to ensure optimal pressure. For that, you need to hold the drill firmly. However, with your bare hands, you cannot hold the drill well while it's in motion. Also, some people have severe hand sweating issues and it can easily make you slip the drill. So it's always better to wear safety goggles for better drip and deal with hand sweating issues so that no disaster can occur. Now that we have taken a proper look into the safety precautions, let's dive into key details that we need to be careful of while using the power drill in the worksite. Choosing the right drill is very important as each of the kinds is delicately designed to drill through specific materials. For example, a general purpose bit is designed for drilling wood, masonry bit for stone, brick or concrete, while the HSS bit is for metals, and so on. If you use the wrong material bit on the wrong surface, it's going to break and can cause severe damage to both the drill machine and you as well. Also, it's important to ensure the right size bit for your drill. When you look into the jaw of the drill, you will see a clamp which is your drill chuck. The thing is, it firmly holds the drill bit when it's spinning. In order to change a damaged drill bit or use a different size bit, simply shut off the drill and lose the chuck by rotating it. If you are using a handheld portable one, you can do it by hand. But if it's a heavy duty one, you should use the chuck key that is located in the compartment in the top or handle of the drill. After safe removal or changing a drill bit, you need to inspect whether it's straight and well stuck. Finally, remove the key and you are good to go. The latest drills are often powered by a built-in battery, but the conventional ones are powered from the wall outlet. When you use them, make sure the cords are not stretched too much and left in the walkway like that. That's because the power cord can tear up or lead coworkers to fall by stepping on it. Moreover, when you use an extension cord, match it with the minimum wire gauge required for the drill for safety purposes. While drilling through a hard to crack rock or tough materials at high speed creates a huge amount of friction. And with continuous usage, this friction will rapidly overheat the bit. When you notice the bit turning red or the material burning, you need to slow down the drill speed to adapt to the situation. 
Sometimes you need to drill through small pieces like a bunch of wood or steel. Some people may prefer using a hand to hold them up and drill with the other, but it's not ideal to do this as your hands can easily slip while it's in motion and the outcome can be very dangerous. So it's always better to clamp down the small pieces together and drill through them at the same time. Before drilling with the desired bit, you can create a pilot hole by using a small drill bit. So, when you use your desired drill bit on a pre-drilled hole, you can get straight drills and also prevent it from slipping away. On the other hand, a stand acts as your guide throughout the process. While drilling through harder materials like metal or rock, it prevents slipping, scratching the workpiece, and also making a straight hole into it. And last but not least, Clean your drill components regularly. First, inspect thoroughly before using them, and if you find any damage in any components, replace them right away. The dirtier it gets, so it's wise to clean the components after using them. You can use a brush to clean the clamps, chips, drill bits, and also apply oil to keep them spinning smooth. In the end, a little knowledge of using power drill machines can easily prevent unwanted injuries from happening. So, these safety tips will guide you to protect yourself as well as your tools. So, that was our video on how to use a drill safely, just for you. Thanks for watching our video. Like, comment, and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this one on your feed.